Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to compare database object schema in Visual Studio 2013. You can use the same method using Visual Studio 2012 or 2010. Uh, there are different ways that you can compare the schema. Uh, I'm going to um, just uh, let you know a couple ways, and we're gonna in this demo demo we're gonna go ahead and use one way to do that. Uh, first is that you can import uh, source and target uh, databases into uh, Visual Studio and compare the schema that way. Uh, also, uh, we're, the second that we're going to go ahead and do in this uh, particular demo is that uh, connect with the source and target SQL Server and compare uh, the particular database object schema in that way. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go into our client where I have in, uh, installed Visual Studio 2013. So we're going to go ahead and click on Tools go to SQL Server and up here you have three options new query new data comparison you can do the data comparison as well and new schema comparison we're gonna go ahead and select new schema comparison as you can see there are two columns right here one is select the source and select the target now the source and target doesn't need to be uh, uh, you know uh, different servers but usually in organization they are different servers but if you have two databases on the same server you can also do that so in, in this video we're going to go ahead and set up our source and then we're gonna go ahead and set up our target and then we're gonna go through different options of what we can select and what 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 we want when comparing the schemas in um, in that particular uh, two databases objects so let's do let's uh, uh, do the source click on select source up here is the if you have project the first thing that I mentioned that you can import in particular project couple databases and you can compare if you wanted to compare different schema on a particular project you can give uh, the project right here but we're going to go ahead and click um, on um, we're going we're gonna go ahead and uh, connect with SQL Server so we're gonna go ahead and click on new connection here is my uh, SQL Server this is my source SQL Server Tech Brothers SQL is the server SQL SQL prod is my um, instance so this I'm using Windows authentication so we're gonna go ahead and click the databases so my source is going to be Tech Brothers up here Tech Brothers demo DB this is my source um, database we're gonna go ahead and test connection connection is okay click OK and click OK so we have selected we have configured our um, source now we're gonna go ahead and configure our target select target I'm going to use for this demo purposes the same server but two different databases uh, and they have the same objects but there are some differences between the objects so we're gonna go ahead and take a look on that so we're gonna go ahead and click new connection or if you already made a connection it's gonna show you you know one of the, the connection we're gonna go ahead and click new and we're gonna go ahead and TBS SQL prod SQL prod select the data database and this time I'm going to select the database uh, SharePoint config right here and test the connection okay click okay and click okay so after we selected the uh, our source and target SQL Server and the databases you can click on settings up here this is options and then you can go through different options what you would like to compare so we're gonna go ahead and click on option it says application scope and if you can select on non application scope as well so general up here is that um, when you compare up here what you wanted to ignore what you wanted to ignore uh, keep in this particular uh, comparison um, you can go through this comparison one by one and there are some good options right here let's say that you don't want it to uh, 
you know compare the permissions you don't want it to you wanted to ignore the foreign keys etc you can go ahead and do that so up here object types is application scoped if you open this application scoped uh, objects are right here and if you look at it I up here is non application scope if you wanted to compare everything you can select everything but uh, keep in mind to go through some um, some of the uh, you know uh, options before you hit OK so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel and keep it default so I'm going to click on compare it's gonna take a little bit of time because it's gonna compare between source and um, destination databases all right so it compared and it brought us to the one object you can also select the option that similar objects it should show it should show different objects it should show uh, uh, both together you can select that option so let's look at it that what is the difference if you look at the column and we're gonna go ahead in properties and column up here these are the two columns right here that's been that's on the target and uh, source but not on target this is again if you look at it that um, this is the uh, target name this is the source name and these are the two columns that's that exist in um, source but does not exist in target and now you have option to sync the databases um, and uh, up here some of the options that you wanted to once you make an option up here if you wanted to look at the more detail right here is the source and right here is the target and you can see that they are not in sync you can go ahead and um, update so that it'll move all these two columns right here in the target and same up here so we're gonna go ahead and let me go through some of the options update once uh, we click on update it's gonna go ahead and sync that and options you wanted to go through options again uh, group results you can see um, action schemas or type up here as I was telling you that if uh, you wanted to look at all the equal objects all the objects that are same that will show you as well if you click on that and if you click show action not supported for the uh, update and up here is uh, previous and next there are some uh, really cool options it shows up here so we're gonna go ahead and click on update are you sure you want to update the target so what are right here our uh, main focus is that these are the two columns that I added in my source and I wanted to as a promote to production process I wanted to add these two columns to my target and then uh, once you click yes it's gonna go ahead and add those two columns uh, my um, uh, so uh, uh, target is SharePoint underscore underscore config that uh, is used uh, the configuration of my SharePoint uh, and I don't want to mess it up so I just wanted to show you that how you do that so I'm going to go ahead and click no and this is how you compare uh, database objects and databases and even the project uh, solution database project solutions to compare the databases between source and destination and I hope this video helps